Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Factorio Break the Game. My name's Root Negative and let's get cracking. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I always say we're doing something different, uh, but this it really is a little bit different and I'm not going to lie, it's probably going to be a bit boring. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, that's fine, that's all okay. Now I um, play around the base and on the weekend there was this guy called Alistair. And he was in my stream and he was doing some numbers for me. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at those numbers and we're going to see how the factory stacks up against them. Now, the logical place to start is probably with the train. So let's go there. Because I'd like to know if I'm going to fail, I'd like to know I'm going to fail before I fail. What do I mean? That means we need to come down here, see what's happening. Okay, so here is the raw resource input. Now let me just flick across the internet. Now you can see that uh, I've got one episode uploading so hopefully the quality of this one is not too bad. I think I have the hard drive speed to do this. Uh, upload and record at the same time. Uh, because uh, <laughs> time waits for no man and I know that you guys will get really really grumpy if I miss an episode. So here we are. Raw. This is what we need raw. Now this is the minimum requirement for one rocket per minute. Okay, pretty cool. So we need 15k copper and 30k raw iron. Let's uh, jump back to the game and we'll have a chat about this station. Now this station build has uh, some numbers in mind. So, a couple of facts. Number one, it takes about 20 seconds it will take to unload a full train. Number two, this takes 262s. So that means that we can theoretically have 9k per station flowing into the station, into the, the factory rather. That means we have, and this is if my maths is correct, uh, 36,000. 36? Oh my god, I can't, I can't think. Let's, uh, let's talk calculator. Uh, so 9 times 4, very simple, 36. Thank you, I did get it right. <laughs> oh boy. So, that's what we're looking at, 36k. Now, obviously the trains have got to pull in and out, and uh, that's going to take a little bit of time. So, it's not going to be 36k all the time. It's only ever going to be, you know, um, I, I'm thinking that it's probably going to be, oh, well, maybe, a th I don't know. But basically... If we need 36k and it takes 20 seconds to unload 9k and there's three of them, that means that there's 40 seconds, okay, uh, 40 seconds to, to get in and out. And that would achieve us 36k. Now, if the trains take less than that, we'll get more. I've, I've completely balls that explanation up. Let me try again. <laughs> I'm struggling tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Now... 20 seconds to unload, okay? That's what we got. So we've got 20 seconds spent here in a minute. All right, and that 20 seconds is gonna get us 9K on the belts. Now, obviously we can't have trains in the stations all the time. They have gotta come in, they have gotta go out. So by um, that metric, if we're thinking, okay, we're gonna have one train per station per minute, okay, that's gonna get us the 36K that's currently on the screen, bearish. That's going to leave, leave them 20 seconds to come in. Okay, 20 seconds. Boom, 20 seconds. After they've unloaded everything, 20 seconds to then get past this point and let the next train in. That is the theory for us to get 36k. I think that this build can do it. Let's move along because I'm just struggling. The next thing is obviously the smelting. Now the smelting, this is uh, tested capacity. So the tested capacity per thing is 2.2k. You can see here, 2.2k coming out. And this is um, not as much because, well, it doesn't get used as much. So 2.2k per thing. There are 24 things. So for this one, we have 2 times 24. It means there's a theoretical 52.8k per smelting. Now, if we refer back to the internet, turn off the calculator. We can see here that we need 35k of copper plates, uh, sorry, iron plates, and 17231 of copper. Looks good to me. 
So we've got some some room to move there. You know, potentially we'll be tight on the the raw input, but you know that's um, that's where it sits now. Two thousand coal a minute is very easy to achieve. I have no worries about that. I am um, I'm pretty confident. Same with the water. We'll just keep putting uh, offshore pumps into the water until we get it. Now the crude oil. You'll notice notice that we need ten and a half k crude per minute. Right, that's that's a lot of oil, and that's potentially where this is going to fall over, and that's going to be a challenge in and all of itself. Now the oil build itself, I'm pretty happy with. I think the numbers work, and I think that I've overbuilt the refinery enough that it can it can do this. Uh, just going to be getting the crude oil. So let's move right along. You'll notice that I've I've gone through and I've highlighted and I've coloured things in. Now you notice that steel plates, steel plates I've or highlighted in orange. Let's jump back to the game. We come up here. We have these um, setups. Now these setups, they're good for 400 per minute, and there's 12 of them. So we get the calculator out, and we go 400 per minute times 12 for each of them. That's only 4,800. Now 4,800 as opposed to 5,800, we're about a thousand per minute short for steel. All right, so. You can see there, illustrated quite clearly on the calculator. That's uh, that's short. So, you know, there, there's a gap there that we're going to need to close to the to the 4800. Uh, get it up to 5800, and uh, that'll be enough. Now we possibly need to overbuild the steel even more. And I have a few ideas on how we're going to do that. I think that maybe we move away from the this build that we've got. I think we maybe we move away from this and move back towards a, a more traditional build. Anyway, let's move right along. The next item of business is the green circuits. Now this one, <laughs> uh, we um, we did really well on. Uh, so each one of these modules, okay, so from that robot port to that robot port and down. Okay, so this, that there, oh, I could highlight it. This here is one module. Okay, that's that's one module. So there's four of them. One, two, three, four. Each one's good for roughly 10k per minute, which means 40,000. Now, if we compare that to the um, sums that we need, we need 14. So we, we've got 26k up our sleeves in that circumstance. So that's that's happy news. I'm quite happy about that, that we've got green circuits to spare. The, um, the only issue may be routing them and getting them to where they need to go. Next is red circuits. Now, each of the red circuit builds can put out roughly 2k per minute. Pair it. So, we've got 1400 per minute spare on reds, which, again, pretty happy with that. Check plastics. Actually, let's not get too far away, because we'll jump back and, and compare the low density structures. Now, this is one that jumped out, and it was commented on in one of the last videos. Someone pointed out and said, look, there's supposed to be three of these. So I've gone ahead and built three of them. So they need beacons down the outside, one there, one there, but this this build will be good for the 700 odd that we need. Now, I'll fix that. Let's go have a look at plastic. Because I think that plastic is possibly the crown in glory. This plastic build is good for Nearly 20,000. Nearly 20,000 plastic a minute. Uh, what do we need? That's the question, isn't it? That's a million dollar question. The plastic is only six and a half, so we've got 14K plastic uh, up our sleeves. Now, there's a big caveat on that. We need the petroleum gas, and to get the petroleum gas, we need the crude oil. And the other caveat is that uh, we need to get the petroleum gas in, so their potential sticking points around not necessarily the production size but throughput issues which will be <laughs> interesting to solve. Uh, this is the solid fuel. So let's uh, let's have a quick look see at this. Uh, internet, there it is. So, oh, sorry, the rocket fuel. So this needs 34 assemblers. We've got like a, a hundred or something. So quite happy with that. It's, uh, yeah, quite good. So, the low density structures, um, yeah, I fixed that already, so that can actually become green. Now, 
these are the things that we have left to build. Blue circuits, speed one modules, rocket control units. We need to fix the steel plates and yeah, do the crude oil. So from here, kind of the job list looks like um, blue circuit build. Because this, this is going to map out kind of the next um, the next phase of break the game. So you guys know what's coming. Speed one modules. Uh, the rocket control control unit satellites. We haven't done that yet. Silo, obviously. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah. Okay. Then what we're going to be doing is oh, hold on. So this this needs to revise steel. It needs to go at the top there. Then at the bottom, what we're going to be doing is building outposts. I'm thinking 10 per resource type. Well, actually, it's going to be 10 to 20 per resource type, depending on the compression on the trains. We're going to need enough trains per minute to get the resources through, so we may need more outposts to get more trains. Um, and what else? Uh, oh, of course, um, oil outposts. So this, this is kind of the build phase. Um, the once once these are all completed, that'll complete the build phase, and then we'll move kind of into the testing phase, uh, where we'll switch it on. And this will be where we optimize the factory as much as possible, and then then we'll finally move into the finale, and the finale will be uh, a twenty minute episode, twenty rockets. That'll be the easiest way to test it, where we keep it to 20 minutes and we try and launch 20 minute, uh, twenty rockets in that episode. If we can do it, that'll be mission complete. And yeah, it doesn't seem like much, but it's probably, <laughs> it's tons of episodes, uh, tons of time. So this, this will, these two here, these will be massive. You know, this is potentially, you know, 10 hours of work just in here, you know, and another 10 to 20 hours of work getting all the oil. It's going to be uh, insane, and and I'm. I want to do that. I want to achieve it on production capacity, so I want to be able to be producing that amount and then turning it into. I don't want to have be running on buffer storage. Like I don't want to just go out and save up, say, you know, three million oil, so that I don't have to worry about. The, well, sticky, sticky keyboard. Uh, I don't have to worry about. You know the oil outpost I want to have the outpost there so it all runs it's all going and it works I think uh, I think that does it for today so thank you for joining me um, it's been yeah a little bit of a boring episode but this this is what goes into the behind the scenes of building a, a mega base uh, the this series has been about you know what what do you need to do to be really, really good at this game? And, and this, this is my experience. And these, these are the things that I'm doing to be really, really good at this game and build a factory that um, is going to be unmatched. Um, at least on YouTube, it'll be unmatched. And uh, once once the stats are in, we'll get to compare it with uh, you know Madzuri and Damon Engineer and a few of those crazy, crazy people who have also been doing similar stuff. But I look forward to it. That's the future. But for now, say goodbye. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you the next time we try and.